I will teach you how to solve expert killer Sudoku in 25 seconds using machine learning, but maybe not in the way that you think. Expert killer Sudoku does not give any starting numbers, but the hard part is reading the grid, so I use machine learning to read the empty board. The solving part is easy. So I think most people know the classic Sudoku where you fill in the missing numbers so that you don't repeat any numbers in each row, column, and nine square box. But there's another kind of Sudoku available on sudoku.com called Killer. And on Killer, there's an additional constraint in that the sum of the boxes have to be the same as the number with the dotted line. So this 8 should have a 2 next to it to make 10. And this 4 should have a 6 next to it. Which makes it kind of easier rather than harder because it gives you more information. But if you play this on expert level, then you get the situation where they don't give you any numbers and you have to fill in all the numbers. The other trick to the game is to recognize that the numbers 1 through 9 added up total 45. And so you know each row should add to 45, and each column should add to 45, and each box of 9 should add to 45. So in this upper left box, 15 plus 15 is 30, plus 9 is 39. So then I know that this has to be a 6 so that it makes 45. 17, the only way to make 17 is with an 8 and a 9. And so you can pencil in some of the boxes knowing that this is either an 8 or a 9 and this is an 8 or a 9. And the only way to make a 4 is a 1 and a 3 um, because you can't have a 2 twice in the same box. If you look at this line down the middle here, you can see it's interrupted only by this box that adds to 12. Otherwise, there's a clean break across the puzzle. And so if you know that the first column adds to 45, and the second column adds to 45, and the third column adds to 45, and the fourth column adds to 45, 45 times 4 is 180. So if I add up the 15 plus the 7 plus the 9 plus 18, etc., <laughs> including the 12, that adds to 181. It should only add to 180 up until this point, so I know that this box is a 1. I can continue filling in the boxes, usually working in groups of 4 or fewer. I find it is not usually worthwhile to enter more than about 4 pencil marks. It usually takes me about 10 minutes or a little bit longer to fill in the grid. This is all a bit tedious, and this is the last time you will see me filling out the grid manually. Let's automate this process using machine learning. I wanted a simple machine learning project to do. Google released an open source machine learning library called TensorFlow, and there's an API to interface with it to Python called Kiras. Let's take a look. If I read in each square of the Sudoku grid, then I can teach the machine learning to recognize the dashed line sum. In this case, the sum is 14. I also need to teach it which boxes connect the dashed lines. For those mathematically minded viewers, I am using a few layers of two-dimensional convolutions and pooling, plus a flattening and a dropout layer. The model has a total of about 222,000 parameters. I trained the model for 5,000 epochs, which took a few hours on my laptop. The accuracy of the model is apparently above 99%, but that means that mistakes are still possible. Looking at the worst guess, the model thinks this is a 15, but it is really a 4. The right-hand side shows what the model thinks are the boxes. It is good enough to identify most of the boxes, 
but it makes quite a few mistakes which need correction. The 24 should have been a 23, and the three boxes adding to 15 are not linked together. It took a 19 for a 14, a 15 for a 13, a 5 for a 6, a 16 for an 18, and it failed to connect the 26 boxes, and it missed the 6 entirely. Of course, I made a mistake too and did not catch the missing connection in the 18 box. Now that the input is corrected, I let the solver do its work. I programmed the solver to have the same simple rules that I showed before, but this time I let the machine do the penciling. Then when all the penciling is finished, the machine can fill in the squares for good. My conclusion from this is that it has been much harder to get the computer to read in the numbers than it is to solve the puzzle.